and we'll, we'll answer what you have. Around noontime, deputies went to the Indian Springs area on Fairway Drive to a Thomas Robage's house. The deputies uh, were the street team and they had a search warrant and probable cause to arrest him for felony malicious mischief. What he's been doing is in the neighborhood is destroying some of the cars around there, key in the side of the cars and causing quite a bit of damage. Uh, they did a good job identifying him and they were going there to do the search warrant and uh, arrest him for those crimes. Um, their intent was to surveil the residents for a little while to see if they could catch him outside coming out because uh, it's a lot easier like that. But uh, obviously he wasn't coming out. So just a little bit before one o'clock, uh, they knocked on the door. Uh, his brother, Timothy, came to the door. They said that they were there to do a search warrant and talk to him. Uh, Timothy had no problem, opened the door, let him in. Inside the house, it was pretty dark because the blinds were drawn and there was no lights on. Shortly inside the house, out of a corner near a bedroom where it was very dark, uh, multiple shots rang out. One of the deputies was struck in the leg and the hand. Uh, the other deputies returned fire. The suspect retreated back into the bedroom, at which time we were able to get our deputy out of the house, outside, and get him emergency medical treatment. Subsequent to that, the individual barricaded himself in the house. The brother came out, uh, surrendered uh, with no incident at all. And the suspect, again, barricaded himself in the house, came to the door a couple of times. Uh, we're going to show you a video of one time when he came to the door, actually had the gun in his hand. Um, and a standoff ensued for about an hour, hour and a half, at which time we were able to get our SWAT team there and they deployed uh, several rounds of gas into the house, at which time the suspect came out and uh, surrendered uh, without a fight. So he's in custody now. The deputy is at the hospital getting treated for the injuries. The leg wound is a through and through and the hand is a through and through. So it looks like he's gonna get uh, some surgery done maybe even get out of the hospital tonight if he's lucky, but if not, probably tomorrow. So he was he was very fortunate that the, the, the wounds, even though it's not good to be gunshot, they, they were not uh, too severe. This guy is facing three counts of attempted murder of a police officer, and he's presently in our custody and will be lodged into the county jail. He has a past, back in 97, he was charged with aggravated assault without intent to kill. Uh, that case was not adjudicated, and he had a DUI in, in 2009. Other than that, we really haven't had any contact with him. Uh, again, he had a, a, a pretty good crime spree going there in that neighborhood, and uh, you know, we're able to identify him. But, you know, it's hard to tell. That was not a serious warrant, even though the crime is serious as far as destroying people's property. So there's no really rhyme or reason unless he's involved in something else that we don't know about and he figured that we knew about it. So we've got another search warrant that we're gonna execute on the house to see if there's other firearms in there, which we believe there is. Uh, seize his computer stuff and uh, see if there's anything else going on. Uh, Ms. Barbera is gonna let you view the video of him coming to the door with the gun and will provide you with all his information against his Thomas Robarge, born in 1960. And um, that's where we stand right now. Sure. Any is questions? There, is there any reason to believe the brother knew what his brother was up to with the gun? Is there any reason to believe that he may have left the deputies in as sort of a setup? Well, not right at this moment. Uh, you know, he's, he's cooperative, but uh, I think the brother there, according to what the deputies are telling me, is a very, he's a little mentally challenged. Um, so, you know, all of his faculties aren't there, but he came out right away and surrendered with uh, no problem at all. And we're talking to him now, but it doesn't appear that he was an active participant in this. Given what happened on Friday with somebody shooting at a deputy. Again, that is uh, Sheriff Rick Bradshaw talking about the shooting of a Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy in West Point Beach. Uh, near the Indian Spring Country Club this afternoon around one o'clock. Deputies serving a search warrant uh, connected to some vandalism of cars. We're happy to say the deputy does appear to be okay, but will require surgery with uh, two gunshot wounds.